Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are down to our last three monologues in Musidorus, so just a couple days left of this play. And today we get to hear from Musidorus in Act 1, Scene 13. But oh no, we just finished Act 1, Scene 11, so we have a little catching up to do. So, um, Musidorus was hanging out in the woods waiting for Amandine and he got distracted by Mouse and decided to go look for her and then Bremo and Amandine came in and they had a whole thing where she told him that she doesn't love him and he threatened to kill her but then he turned around he's like no you're so beautiful you'll be my queen and then Musidorus came in and Bremo wanted to eat him but Amandine eventually convinced him to not to listen to what he had to say and uh, Musidorus was like let me let me bring you back to civilization and Bremo was like, yeah, are we going to fight? Are we going to die right now? But uh, Amandine once again pled for the hermit's life, because remember, Musidorus is now disguised as a hermit instead of a shepherd. And Bremo was like, okay, fine, I won't kill you, but what are you going to do for me? And Musidorus is like, I'll be your servant. And he's like, okay, cool. So that's what's going on in the woods. In Act 1, Scene 12, we're back with Sagasto and Mouse and another character named Rumbello, who we've never met before, but he has also apparently been wandering around trying to find Amandine and this shepherd because Sagasto wants to get him. Remember, Sagasto was originally supposed to marry Amandine, and he's very upset that she has run away with this shepherd. But the three of them are talking about how they've looked everywhere in the woods and they can't find the shepherd. Now, when Mouse was talking to Musidorus, um, he misheard the word hermit as Emmet. So he's like, I didn't see any shepherds, but I saw an Emmet. So then there's this whole bit of how big was your Emmet? I saw a bunch of Emmets. Uh, all of this silliness that goes back and forth for a while. And Sagasto's like, you guys better go find this shepherd and find Amadine and come back and report to me. And he leaves and Mouse and Rumbello are left there and they're like, well, you know, but like we can't find him. So maybe we just run away. So we escape the wrath of Sagasto. But they eventually decide that they will do one more sweep of the woods, each of them coming in from a different side so they can meet in the middle and determine that no, the shepherd wasn't there. So they, they leave to go do that. And that's Act 1, Scene 12. Act 1, Scene 13 starts out with Musidorus coming in. He's in the woods. He's a servant to Bremo at this point, And he comes in by himself and he says, Unknown to any here within these woods, with bloody Bremo do I lead my life. The monster! He doth murder all he meets. He spareth none, and none doth him escape. Who would continue, who but only I, in such a cruel cutthroat's company? Yet Amandine is there. How can I choose? Ugh, silly soul, how oftentimes she sits and sighs and calls. Come, shepherd, come. Sweet Musidorus, come and set me free. When Musidorus present stands her by. But here she comes. What news, fair lady, as you walk these woods? So he's just sort of lamenting his state of being. He starts out, he's like, you know, I'm living in the woods as Bremo's servant, and Bremo is a horrible, horrible person. He kills everyone and no one gets away from him. He's like, who else would take this job? Like, this is the worst boss in the world. Who else would take this job except for me because Amadine is there and I see her sitting there wishing that the shepherd, Musidorus, would show up and save her when Musidorus is me and I'm right here. But then she walks in and he's like, you know, how, how are you doing? And she's like, well, you know, about as well as you can in the woods like this. And he's like, well, you don't love the, the woods and Bremo? You know, he seems to love you quite a bit. And she's like, yeah, no, I don't love him and I don't love the woods at all. And she starts talking about this shepherd that she was in love with. And Musidorus is like, oh, tell me more. Tell me more. How did you meet this guy? And, and tell me, you know, when did you fall in love with him and things. And she's about to launch into the story of how she met Musidorus and Bremo comes in and he's like, what are you two talking about? And Musidorus is going to fill Bremo in in tomorrow's monologue. So I'll see you then for that. Mwah.